In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Raspberry Pi used as a dash or a Mega Squares ECU. First off, you'll need to buy a Raspberry Pi 3B, micro SD card between 8 gig and 32 gig, a screen, the Raspberry Pi 7 inch touch screen being ideal for this purpose. Especially as you can then use the official Raspberry Pi and screen case, which will contain then both the screen and the Raspberry Pi in one unit. You also need a keyboard and mouse. The RII i8 is ideal for that, as you can use it in the car. You will need to format your SD card using the SD Association card formatter in FAT format, and then download and extract moves into the SD card. You can then use the SD card in the Raspberry Pi and boot it for the first time. There are video guides on the Raspberry Pi website on how to do this if you get stuck. You also then need to download and extract Tune Studio onto your Raspberry Pi. With Tune Studio downloaded, now go to the command line and type in this command in order to extract Tune Studio so it can now be used. With that completed, type in this command. This is now going to allow us to tell Tune Studio to run on startup. To complete this step, we need to type in this command. This is going to open the file we just navigated to. And then following that, we add this command. And this is going to tell that file that on boot up to run Tune Studio. Press Ctrl X, Y, Enter, and you've now successfully told Tune Studio to run on boot up. Restart your Raspberry Pi and you will now see Tune Studio running at start. In Tune Studio now go to options, preferences and select load last project on startup and then again options, preferences, make dashboards full screen. Also go to options, performance and select dash only mode if you don't want access to the tuning functionality when you're running Tune Studio on your dashboard. You should now have a fully functioning Raspberry Pi Dash. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Please check out some of my other videos and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.